Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk more and more about this structure. In this uh, small session, we will try to discuss together how to write a great book. If you remember in our last video, we said that any introductory paragraph should start with one or two lines, one or two sentences. So how to write a great book? This is an important question that university students who study at the English departments or at the College of Engineering, like the one I'm teaching currently, need to know how to write a great book. Knowing how to write a great book, this is an important skill that every writer should have. And I mean by writer here, not only the author of novels or the authors of drama or the news reporter, but also I mean the students at universities. So to write a great book, this is a skill. This is an important skill that you should have as a student. We have different types of essays. We have different types of novels. We have different types of blogs, scripts, short stories, poetry, speeches, and more. How can you craft something that would lure any number of people in the world? The answer to this question is very simple. To be able to lure any number of people, of audience, of readers, you just need to start with a great hook. So you need to hook your readers with jokes, quotes, anecdotes, or statistics. So what's a hook? This is an important question. A hook is line or lines, but only two lines at most, written to lure a reader, to lure a reader in and make the reader want to learn more. So it's an introduction that's meant to grab hold of people's attention. Look at this example in Anna Karenia by Luther Stone. The following line appears early on. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Thought provoking, right? So, in any say, your hook should fall within the first line or the first two lines of your introduction. Don't forget this important piece of information. A longer work is fiction, such, show, uh, such as short stories, novels, plays, and scripts. We don't know, maybe in the future you will be a novelist, you will be an author of short stories, we don't know, you will be a place. We don't know, of course. So you can actually incorporate the hook into the title or write it into one of the opening scenes of your novel or play or script or short story. Let's go now to identify types of hooks with examples. You have some options that will help you to serve a good hook. It's fine to use a quote. It's fine to offer statistic. It's fine to pose a question. It's fine to crack a job. It's fine to tell anecdotes. So my lovely students, don't forget that you have five interesting times, five interesting types of books. You can use quotation. You can include statistics. You can pose questions. You can create jokes or you can tell anecdotes. Let's see each one with examples. So it will be easy for you 
to understand and identify. Thoughts can be a great spark to light the fire. Let's say you are writing an essay about a particular author. Why not offer of one of their most important quotes? If you are writing a paper, for example, about the legendary novelist, Ernest Hemingway, and we're asked to write a paper, to write an essay, to write a, a report about this legendary, we known a most famous author, Ernest Hemingway. You might want to begin with some of his quotes to demonstrate actually the strength of his character and also to let your reader know that you are familiar with the person you are writing about. Like this quote, there is nothing novel in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Sometimes you are not actually writing an essay about a person, but you are writing a persuasive essay. Persuasive essay is different. So here, you can discuss or use one of the most striking lines as your hook. You have to start your hook with a striking sentences. If you are writing, for example, about the benefits of worldly travel, you can incorporate, you can include, you can start with one or two from a famous travel TV host like Rick Steves, for example. When he says travel is rich with learning opportunities and the ultimate souvenir in the broader Facebook. The second type is to include statistics. Statistics can play a powerful role in us. It's similar to quotes. If you are writing a persuasive essay, consider my lovely students kicking things off with a striking statistic that will blow your readers' minds and encourage them to learn more or to disprove a common misconception. Why not? If you are writing a persuasive piece about the barriers of alcohol consumption, you might want to begin with a Center for Disease Control statistic, for example. According to a recent report from the CDC, alcohol poisoning kills six people every day in the United States. That same report also reveals, reveals there are over 15 million people currently struggling with alcohol use disorder. Such statistics will have very good impact in your it will attract their attention and grab their interest. The third type is to pose questions. Consider opening up your essay, your introductory paragraph with a thought provoking question. You can use an open-ended question. Why? To chain the wheels of curiosity of your readers. If you are writing a piece about essay writing, you can consider something similar to this great example of a hook, which uh, was stated in the first line of an essay by Z. Smith. Why do novelists write essays? Most publishers would rather have a novel. The fourth type is to crack jokes. Also, a joke can be a great, a great hack, especially for a short story or a novel, or even for an essay, there is no problem. It will set the, the tone, 
it will set the tone for the piece and give the readers a sense about the main character. Hopefully, they will immediately be drawn to him or her. A great book like this example by Paul Hellman could open up a short story or a novel when he says, or when he writes, every night, many new people hate my guts. The big muscular guy said, on a good night, 30 people within his pit, I could care less. The last type is to tell anecdotes. This actually depends on the nature of your piece. Anecdote can also be an interesting way to hook readers. Typically, you want also to avoid writing in the first person in any say, but perhaps you have a story you can relay in the third person to lure readers in. Like this example, Wendy is a tried and true New Yorker who's lived there all her life. Yet even in a city with over 8.5 million people, she's never been able to shake off the dregs of loneliness. You are writing a narrative essay an anecdote is the perfect place to start. It has the power to make you instantly relatable to your readers. So please, my lovely students, don't forget that we can use five types of books, quotations, statistics, questions, jokes, anecdotes. And thank you 